What's up guys, I'm Nathan and in this video, uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys the best main characters to use in Roblox Anime Dimensions. Now don't get me wrong, this is not a top 5, this is the best. Basically, it's going to be the best main characters to use under each of these categories and I'm sure you can already guess who they are. But that's why I recommend uh, you guys watch most of this at least without skipping so that you will understand the discriminations. So for gem character, this is gonna be for pretty much everything, that's gonna be uh, best boy or uh, Astolfo because he has a dash skill, he's got a movable ultimate, he's got a buff like his cheer basically will buff you and your teammates for 14 seconds. Overall just a very good character, quite good for dimensions especially considering he's only a gem character and he's also reasonably good in damage against bosses and that's why it's coming under gem in particular because it's the best obtainable gem character. Now the raid token characters, there's gonna be two of them one of them is obtainable one of them is unobtainable um, and that's gonna be Eren and Esper uh, and both of them are kind of tied honestly like I'm bo keeping both of them because Eren is de significantly better like for uh, uh, for raids and boss rushes because his uh, like his spam move his third move both both Esper and Eren's third moves allow you to spam the first and second move it's just that Eren's is better because you can do it multiple times whereas Esper just resets it once. Now of course Eren's ultimate is not that good and he's a kind of rubbish assist but this is not what the tier list is for. But Esper is mainly a very very good all rounder just because he's an amazing main and an amazing assist and the reason why I'm including Esper as well even though Eren exists is because Esper like okay Eren is quite easy to use in dimensions because of his AoE. But Esper is in fact a little bit faster in speedrunning. And the thing is, Esper is actually a really good speedrunning uh, character that you can like easily obtain. Mainly because he's even faster than Kokushibo. When previously we uh, we thought that Kokushibo was the fastest. But Esper's damage just helps him to be a better main in Dimensions. And he's quite solid in raids and stuff as well. Uh, anyway, next is Anti-Boss. And that's actually going to be Nezuko. Uh, because Nezuko is in fact like at least if you have Kurmi and if you've got the right stats and even probably like something like a maneuver gear uh, Nezuko is actually uh, potentially better than the Shadow Monarch or Sung Jin Woo against bosses and that's why like I think in the world record for dimensions uh, it was like a trio and two people would use Sung Jin Woo and clear the behind things and Nezuko would just like dash to the boss and pretty much destroy it because Nezuko just does a lot of damage against bosses like she gives a reasonable amount of pet energy and her moves do a lot of damage and not just that her ultimate just uh, resets the cooldowns of all of her moves and even without that it does a lot of damage like Shadow Monarch has an amazing move set and of course counting the 100% critical damage is insanely good but like the move damage the individual move damage like Nezuko is just a little bit better even than Shadow Monarch and that too she was just a gem character which is quite impressive. Raids with Kurmi is quite obvious who I'm gonna put here. It's gonna be Milim. Obviously like Sung Jim Woo is better but like with Kurmi like Milim is in fact one of the best raid characters like not counting any glitches or anything and uh, she is just primarily just a main. She's not really useful at all as an assist but it's quite a decent main with the dash skill and stuff. I mean, okay, she's not that great for dimensions, but against bosses and stuff, she's quite good as a main. And overall, you already know it. It's gonna be Shadow Monarch or Sung Jin Woo. His first skill is a dash skill that gives you iframes. Second skill kind of groups the enemies together and kind of hits an AoE in front of you. The third skill literally allows you to spam your first move. And the thing is, the first move isn't a regular move. Like I said, it's a dash skill with iframes. So you can spam dash. Which is why he's just so amazing for dimensions because you can literally just go from one side to another in extremely fast speed because even the animation doesn't take long like you can use it a lot very fast and his ultimate is one of his best things it's going to be giving you 100 percent critical chance and yeah, for the duration of his ultimate and even his assist will give you 25 percent critical chance but that's pretty much it for this it's not ordered. I'm not saying that the ones higher are better. Obviously, Milim is not better than Esper and uh, Eren. Uh, it's quite clear, but like these are just under each category my personal favorites as mains. But that's pretty much it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.